Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. We're going to be tackling Mission 2, Operation Dawn of Supreme Commander Forged Alliance today. Let's go ahead and dive into this without me rambling on too terribly much. Covert Aeon loyalists infiltrated the Order over a year ago. Their efforts have provided us with important intelligence. And they have also assisted us in spreading the word and truth of the Princess. However... The entire Loyalist network is now in grave peril. QAI has been using Copernicus as a staging ground for attacks onto Coalition space. In an effort to stem those attacks, a group of Loyalists launched a secret operation against QAI's position. The operation ended in failure. QAI knew the attack was coming, and it captured three Loyalist leaders. Ew. We know from past ops that QAI will implant them with AI chips. If that happens, our entire covert network will be in grave peril. The importance of this operation cannot be understated, Commander. It is now obvious that our security protocols have been breached. There is simply no other way our enemies could have known both the secret location of Fort Clark and about our covert actions on this planet. This situation must be dealt with before it spirals out of control. Loyalists are still operating on planet. There's a mole! They have been unable to launch a rescue mission. You will gate in here, reinforce their position, and then rescue the Loyalists being held by QAI. Once they are secure, you will destroy QAI's base. That horror of a machine is aided by an order commander named Selene. She was once very loyal to the princess, but fell victim to Kale's lies. A loyalist spy named Thalia will be your on-planet liaison. She will have more intelligence for you once you arrive. You gate immediately. Watch your back, Commander. Good hunting. So it's funny to me that these people are talking about, oh no, we have a security breach, when they're literally waging war against one of the most powerful AIs ever created. Like, of course, if you have a problem with your security, he is going to be able to find it. Alrighty then. Yeah, that does sound like a good time. Okay, so base is under attack. Uh, is this my base? This is not my base. This is their base. I'm going to start a factory. Maybe I should not have started a factory. Uh, you know, here's the thing. I don't care if this base gets destroyed if I'm not going to get it, because then I'll just get the reclaim. In fact, that might be a good idea overall. But if they give me this base, you know what? I don't think they're going to give me this base because it's already looking pretty desolate. So I'm just going to build a factory and then start chewing through everything. You're going to build engineers. Go back there. I'm going to go over here. We'll start killing off some of this crap. Hey, if I get a pile of wreckage... It'll be all right, because there is a lot of T3 mexes here. In fact, I will do better than my AI opponent will. Um, what are my objectives? Do I not have any? All right, it's only defeat the forces. It doesn't say anywhere that I have to save everything. I think I'm going to be that guy... That just straight up reclaims all of my allies' mexes because I don't like how they're using them. So let's do that. Shall we? I am not going to beg you for mercy. You sound like a witch. And on that basis alone, I am going to kill you. That's right. Get out of here. Sort your targeting priorities, son. I need you to hit things, not randomly wander around and not fire. Alright, you come down here. You get this. There's an order base to your east. Attack and destroy it. HQ out. I would absolutely love to. All right, we're going to overflow a little bit here, but I think that's okay. All right, you are going to build quite the collection of land factories because, obviously, we need a lot of build power. 
And we are power stalled. Quite viciously, in fact. But we'll be alright. We're just going to go ahead and do everything that we possibly can to get ahead on economy. And if that means getting a T2 mechs up, then by golly, that means getting a T2 mechs up. So, he did have T2 radar here. Which means he's probably going to rebuild T2 radar and it's his problem to worry about how much power he has. So I think I'm going to let my teammate here decide exactly when he builds that. I'll just muddle along fine by myself. Let's get some tanks up. There we go. Got that reclaim train started. Ah, there's a land scout out front. Good job. Good job indeed. Too bad our power requirements are so negative. Seeing as we... Uh... Ah, there it is. Hey, I've got no problem with that. Let's go for that. Alright, we're going to upgrade you. That'll give us some income. Good, solid income. And we are going to dive right into attacking this next group of tanks. Because that sounds like a good plan. I would love it if you guys reclaim that T2 gen before you got the chance to rebuild on it. I should probably not stand still because there are potentially artillery pieces coming in. And that would be a good way to shed way more health than I can afford. Okay, we need some reclaim. We're going to grab that. Might need some anti-air as well, because I guarantee you there's going to be T1 bombers at some point. It's just a matter of where and when they show up. Only a matter of time. Alright, we're going to keep all of you over here, because we may very well need you. And you are going to patrol there. Alright, go kill the artillery. You got this. Ah, uh, that's all already over there. Very nice, very nice indeed. Alright, get up. There we go. Probably bump the audio up a little bit in the background, because you guys probably struggling to hear what's going on back there. Alright, so you're going to build, and you're going to build... Oh, hello, T1 Bombers. Let's build a lot of anti-air, shall we? Sounds like a plan. No, don't bomb my NGs. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Hey, you just assist that. All right, we're going to try to make this work. Swing that son of a gun. All right, we've got to get all of this in line. So there's some T2 units coming in right there. I don't think it's anything we can't handle, though. I think it's not too bad. We've got way too much building back home. Um, pause you and reclaim you. And we do have an overcharge, so let's go lay that one in there. Boom! Double kill. Yeah, those are the ones we got to worry about because they are strong as horses. There we go. Alright, you guys are solved. And we've got you at T2. Let's go ahead and T2 you. 
send all you north and go back and start again with these things. All right, I do believe that we have enough to push up now. Let's go ahead and book it with those. And we're going to add some engineers into our build here. All right, so all of that looks fan-freaking-tastic. We should be able to secure all of this and do everything that we need to do ASAP. And you guys, we're just going to send you up here and put you on a massive patrol route. There we go. All right, we're safe and secure. So there's some T1 point vents on that side that we should probably get rid of. There's also some flak. We can air snipe it. There's a variety of different options that we can pursue. You guys, let's go over here. We need to lay in all of these mass extractors ASAP. And they keep getting canceled. ACU to the front. So that's always a good plan, right? Put your most valuable unit on the front line to draw all of the fire that it possibly can. Well, when it's as tanky as an ACU and you have something as valuable as overcharge, then yes, that probably is a good idea. But in the vast majority of cases, what I just said would be preposterous. All right, let's get some uh, let's get some overcharge action going here. Boom, and it did not catch. Go for the middle tank. There's a twofer. There's another. And another. And we'll just whittle down the rest. Good freaking dealio. Two there. All right, we're set. You're going to back up. That's dangerous. Just draw a fire. Be the meat shield. All right, we're going to slow down and get some bases going here. Need T2 there. We've got T2 in the back, so we're going to lay down a group of P-Gens. With some shielding. And then uh, those T2 NGs are going to come to the front, and they're going to start our T3 factory a-building. And we should probably get some flak online at some point or another. You need to abandon that. All of our T1 anti-air is doing fine, and all of the engineers, whenever you get finished with what you are currently assigned to, let's let you uh, build some stuff. How about that? Right. Okay, so all of you are set. Let's go kill some of those mobile missile launchers. Sounds like a good plan. And you, let's go T2. Actually, let's not, because we're short on power at this particular moment. So we'll wait until this P-Gen gets done, and then we'll go T2. Now we're looking better. Well, hello, gunships. We probably need more anti-air than that. Um, ooh, this might potentially be bad. Uh, D, 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 all of you assist, please. I need some flak. I need some flak. I need some flak quite badly. This is not going to end well for me. There we go. Flak. Build the flak. All right, this will give you something to fall back on. Oh, look! Our teammate is making T2 units, finally. Nice. Very nice indeed. All right, we need some more of you NGs trolling around, making all manner of things lovely, and reclaiming glorious, copious amounts of, of mass. You need to go up here and rebuild that one. Thank you very much. The two point events does a fantastic job. Uh, 
Unless there are mobile missile launchers. Then it has a little bit of an issue. Alright, so all of you fine fellows, we're going to get you on a land factory. But you are going to assist quite mightily. And start cranking out some T3 units. We're going to go for Percy's and Mass. Probably some flak would be a good idea as well. Um, we're going to go up here and make... Another land factory. Thank you very much. And we're going to assist it as well. Making Percival's and two flak and a shield and a titan. That's right. Come throw yourself in vain against my mighty fire base. I just need to, like, chill back here. Okay, we also need to go after some upgraded economy. So we're going to grab that and that. And then start capping our way northward. Good, good, good. All right, all of you guys, those, ma those mass extractors are just going to keep dying. So we're just going to leave them alone. You are going to build a factory right there. Maybe one more flat cannon. Maybe a couple of more point defense since we only have two. Good deal. Oh no, there's a... Gunship in the back. We can fix that, though. All right, you are going to make engineers and start reclaiming this glorious pile of mass out in front. Because that's what we need is always more income. And once this starts cranking out bots, obviously, the mass requirements are going to go down a bit. That's right. Overshoot your target. Walk into T2 point defense range. That is exactly how you're supposed to play this. Exactly. Okay. Once we get our first couple of Percivals out, we'll just go to town on this. We should probably scout, but then again, we do have pretty much constant radar coverage. So we can see exactly what's going on in the back there. All I'm waiting on is some Percivals to hit the front line so that we can actually... Um, actually get on with attacking let's upgrade two of those mass extractors let's go ahead and grab you and cap you because I think we have this successfully defended at least for now we'll throw a shield in for good measure just to make sure back over here grab that and put down our little thingamajigger and another shield all right this better work if it doesn't protect that, I don't know what will. Do we have our flak coming yet? No, we do not. Which means that we may have a little bit of a problem with our anti-air solutions. But I think with the T1 anti-air that's in here and the health on those Percivals, we should be able to make it around the north corner relatively easily. So we're just going to go ahead for that. And let's move our reclaim party northward. You guys, let's send one of you. I'm going to reclaim all of that. And do this. There we go. Fan-freaking-tastic. Alright, we will be able to rock this economy. We should be ready for the next scale up. Because obviously, as soon as we accomplish the objective that we've set out for... It is going to scale up again, throw a wrench in things, and cause massive problems. So, that's just life in Supreme Commander, you know? Alright, so we've got everything set up to absolutely mop up everything over there. We do not have a flak yet, but it is building, so that's a good thing. Go over there and get that. All of our stationary flak is working. Nice. Very nice. You'll pay dearly for destroying these facilities. You know what? I won't. 
I am going to get away with it just like I always do because I am a scamp. I am a scamp that comes in and wrecks bases. You know, a lot of people like Dennis the Menace get into lovable hijinks and cause mischief here and there. But no, I am of the base wrecker kind. I am way beyond home wrecker. I'm just going to come in and absolutely positively demolish your crap. Did the Percivals have AoE? It looked to me like the Percivals had AoE, and that makes them even more badass than they already were. Alright, we're going to move you up, grab some more of this handy dandy reclaim, get this economy a rockin'. Get two upgrades there, you guys, let's uh, make another grouping. Actually, we're probably, probably going to need to start some T3 engineers and some T3 power to replace our T2s once we run out of unit cap. So we're going to go ahead and start that there. And we're going to lay in yet another T3 mechs upgrade because as far as I can tell, things are looking relatively good for us. Um, let's go grab, there is no reclaim up there. There is a lot of reclaim down here. So we're going to take full advantage of that mess. And let's go wreck a base. I think we've got plenty. We got a couple of Titans. We got a dozen Percivals and a full suite of support units. I don't think there's going to be any issue whatsoever absolutely curb stomping what is going to be left of this base. Why does it have arrows pointing to every single building? I know what it means to wreck a base, good sir. You do not need to inform me. Ah, I can chat for whatever reason. I wonder if it responds to me. Probably not. Oh well. All right, why am I looking at my ACU? That's what they made T3 artillery for. Your way through this pass. Got to assume the enemy has the whole area dialed in, so expect heavy resistance. Or a fat boy. I could build a fat boy. From there, things will probably go from bad to worse. We have to assume the enemy has heavy defensive fortifications on the far side of the pass. That'll be all right. Percivals can just walk through anything. If QAI gets its hooks into them, we're in a world of trouble. Am I on a time limit? And get the loyalist out of there. Uh, apparently not. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so we're going to need a two-prong attack until we can make it to the back here. Once we do that, we'll be fine. All of you fine fellows. You over there. You over there. All of our engineers, we're going to need you to go down here. You know what? I don't think I'm going to because I don't need to build a single defensive unit, I don't think. I'm just going to kind of camp here. Camp here and do what I need to. Do I even need to build air? I might not. I mean, there's gunships all over the place, but yeah. I'm going to send, um, I'm actually going to send a squad of T2s over there. And you guys, you are going to build a couple of T3 gens with a T3 shield and some T3 SAMs. And that will be my air defense back here. All of you guys are just going to be out of luck because everything is going to be inaccessible to air. I'm going to have all of these units up at the pass. It's just going to capture everything that comes through. Do I need T3 point defense? I kind of doubt it, honestly. Um, do I need T3 artillery? Probably not, because it looks to me like there's anti-air emplacements, there's some mild point defense emplacements, but overall, nothing too serious. So we're just going to go ahead and move up the pass here. We're going to drag all of our little move orders up here so that we can intercept the likely trajectory of the gunships because it looks like they are coming up through there. And that is that. We've got a lot of little emplacements up here. Probably need to get something on our ACU right there. Once we get that done, we will go T3. And we are power stalling like nobody's business. But you know what? We got some T3 on it. So it is all good. Build a fat boy.
you say that and somehow I do not think that it is true all right all you guys we're gonna make the wide loop here come down in the pass ah we have multiple little facilities down here you know what this is this is dawn I played multiplayer on this what the recognition is setting in you guys let's make a couple of factories and you guys are going to build a shield we're gonna build some flak we're gonna build some point vents just in case and that is going to be our little claim to the territory over there nice fat boy going up rather quickly mobile flak doing its job and doing it well Apparently, we have Omni online from our handy-dandy... Nope, just T2s spread around. Um, at least we have some radar coverage. Our teammate is being helpful in that regard. Uh, hello, Loyalists. You are still no match for the mighty Percival, though. I have to tell you that right up front. Kaboom! Goodbye. Barely even lost a Percival. Nice. Alright, so our shield has been destroyed yet again, which means that there is definitely something that's coming by and attacking. So I'm going to build that, and I'm going to build multiple um, flax so that hopefully we'll not have problems with this anymore. All right, so you're all good. Let's go ahead and get T2 on all of you. Yes, I know that I just upgraded a whole bunch at one time, but it's okay. Um, we do... Oh, I'm going to stop you. Because there is a Navy up there, which I did not see before. That's okay, though. I might need to get in the water before I trigger this next objective. That might be a wise thing to do. I am thinking that that is the case. Okay, so we are going to start an air factory, and we're going to go for some gunships, because gunships are a good way to solve naval problems early. Um, we're going to just finish this fat boy. And then go assist that. And what we're going to do is we're going to build one broadsword to two ASF. And that should take care of us quite nicely. Now, right, you guys, we're going to go ahead and cap you off. And then, let's see, our... Nope, that was the wrong thing. Going to build some T1 engineers. Go that way. Aha! The unit cap has been reached. Well, that means that we select all of our T1 tanks. Control-K those. All of our T1 factories back at home. Control K those. We'll instantaneously create a massive amount of free unit cap. Hip hip hoorah. Okay, so what I'm going to do, there are still multiple gunships coming in. We're going to build a row of flak right there. Which hopefully will deny the gunships that are attempting to come through. And on this side, I think we will be able to break this base. Yes, there's a lot of stuff. Yes, it's going to be difficult. But I think we have enough. There's not a whole lot of point events to be had in here and only a couple of T3 gunships. I don't think air is going to be a huge problem. We do have 25 T1 AA and 12 flak on hand. So those gunships are going to die very, very quickly. Although I'm not sure why... They're prioritizing the T2 gunships over the T1. But you know what? I'm not going to argue. That's fine. They can do what they want to. They're killing them nonetheless. Wow, we got all three stages of gunship coming in here. I'm just going to kind of camp my units where they're at. Uh, back up. Oh, well. I'm going to patrol. And you guys can just kill whatever can be killed. All except for you guys. You need to stay. Stay put. Thank you. 
All right, there's my ASF. There's my first broadsword. Obviously, we got some ships in the bay now, so I'm going to have to contend with those momentarily. Hello, T3 gunship and T2, which is now dead. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right, all of you guys reclaim there and start going that way. So I'm curious as to whether or not there is going to be a nuke. Command signal and there we go. Um, what is this gorilla strike? Oh crap! The right click did not cancel it. It in fact triggered it. I just lost out on a super useful tool. Well, that was dumb. All right, what's triggering? Nothing as far as I can tell. Oh well. Let's move on in. Everything is wasted in the cyber side of things. Let's just move into the Aeon side. Once we get a few good broadswords up, we should be able to um, get everything set. Get air up, get air up. Air is going to be an exponentially more useful tool as this game goes on. We definitely, definitely need to get these engineers over here and start this reclaim. Because that is going to be invaluable. You can get over here and do the same. We're going to have to start thinking about Navy because we're about to trigger the final objective. So... How many broadswords do we have over here? We have three, which I think will be more than enough to get all these guys. Three broadswords, that is a pile and a half of damage. We're at 403 out of 500, so that is pretty dang good. We're going to take all of our T3 up here and build a naval factory. This is going to be the most crankiness out units factory that you've ever seen that made no sense I can't English come on chase him down kill him dead good job good good job and we'll be able to keep those safe and close by all right did I waste the gorilla strike capture the holding facility all right, I have two engineers right there, no problem. I'll just move over. Can I kill that? Let me see. I can probably kill that. Would be useful. At least I have a couple of engineers that managed to wander all the freaking way over here. That works well. All right, you guys, let's do that. We're wasting mass at the moment, so you know what? Let's start a maver. Just for the hell of it. You rescued us just in time, Commander. The QAI was beginning the final stages of the AI implantation. Thank you. They are out. Yes. It is unfortunate. Maver time. To extract the desired information from my guests. There will be other opportunities. The loyalist traders will never make All right, so we've got more than enough mass and a severe power deficit. So let's go ahead and grab this and then go back to building that. I just want to build the Maver because by the end of the game, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a blast. Let's get you up to T3, and we're going to throw out one battleship, two, two destroyers, three destroyers, and one cruiser. No bulwarks available yet. That's unfortunate. Oh, holy cow. I am Princess Rianne Burke, rightful leader of the Aeon. The Seraphim are not the saviors they claim to be. They bring nothing save death. I need my mama. Run away. Evaluator Kale seeks nothing but absolute. 
absolute power, and she will sacrifice anyone that dares stand in her way. The time has come to rise up and reject her teachings. To fight against those that seek to... That is a lot of T4s. Holy cow. I'm going to have to reevaluate my life here. Alright, run away, run away, run away. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to make only T3 gunships. All of my ASF died, I think, because they were sitting on the ground next to the T4s. That is unfortunate. At least my fat boy is still alive and firing away. I'm going to leave my unit streaming in because that's the only thing keeping my fat boy alive at the moment. And we are going to assist every freaking thing we have on this T3 factory. Because we need loads on loads on loads of broadswords. Because we just lost our last one. Although, we did just kill all the Galactic Colossuses. Is, 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 is. So that's a good thing. Uh-oh. Oh, they turn on each other. What? I did not realize. Someone commented last time, Brink, you're being really, really unattentive to what's going on. And I think that, yes, I, I did actually just completely screw that up. Wow. All right, so we have a major problem here because there is a drop coming. Okay, so many gunships. So many gunships. Come back. Thank you. Alright. Can gunships attack other gunships? I think they can. Yes, they can. Ooh. Oh. Run away, little commander. Get in the shields. You don't need to die. You do not need to die. That is for sure. Actually, I'm going to build that. I'm going to head back home. All right. So, the monkey lords are still a coming, and that is unfortunate. So, let's... Go ahead and send all of these guys over, and we do not have ASF. Do you have anti-air? You do have anti-air. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to attack all of you. Thank you very much. Might should have gone for the attack over. Let's, let's back up this way. Follow me up here, please. Thank you. I would like to draw you into all of the flak up here. That would be the smart thing to do, after all. So many gunships. Like something big is going down in illuminate space. Sensors are registering numerous nuclear detonations and several quantum waves. No idea what's happening. But it's Just draw them up here. Draw them up here. Get them all in. Get them all in. There you go. Alright, most of the gunships are dead. Let's go after the monkey lords. Because this is my next priority. They're getting very close to the base here. Um, you can all control... Actually, don't control K. Because I'm going to go reclaim all of these wrecks. Oh. Hello, monkey. You don't need to be here. I am very rapidly losing control of what's going on here. The Monkey Lord AA is a bit stronger than I thought it was. You need to be cranking out more Percivals. For sure, for sure. All of you folks, fall back. So many monkeys. 
So many monkeys. Alright, so that is a waste of effort. Go ahead and do that, please, and thank you. Put that in. Alright, hopefully we'll have enough Percival's that we can get everything set up. And you guys, we need radar. Better than that, we need Omni. We do not have enough. Come on, whittle him down, whittle him down. There we go. Just need these sons of guns gone. That's all we need. All the gunships in on the case. All of the point events. At least they stop to kill everything in their path. That's the one redeeming factor here. Kill that. We'll worry about the battleship later. I can kill that easily with broadswords. That's right. Don't focus on the main base. Don't focus on the main base. Just, just do your own thing. There we go. Whew. That was a lot. Um, do we have... There we go. Let's get you and you and you and you. And then head that way and you guys build mexes. And then start doing that. And you fine fellows can go back to building your lovely maver. Because I am about to have the mother of all mass influxes. We actually need another T3P gen. We do not have a nuke defense loaded, which is a little unfortunate, but I think we'll be fine. All right, let's go up here. Get rid of all this before all of our economy dies. I think those are all frigates. Yes, they are. So we don't have to worry about any of that extra damage. And that's a destroyer. All right, we lost one mass extractor, which is not the end of the world, and I think that'll be fine, and we'll just keep our broadswords on hand. Cyber Navy has really sucky AA after all, so I think that'll be fine. And then we just need to scout out the... Ooh, I could go after their Navy. This is something I could do. Well, some of my hotkeys are working. Oh, I know what it is. Hot build is not working. That's what's not working. All right, let's see how much damage we can do with this group of broadswords here. We are going to have to... Oh, nope, never mind. Never mind. Two monkey lords. Two monkey lords. We're going to go kill those. That is a much better target for me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that he had that scout pinging across because I would not have seen that otherwise. Kill, kill. At least we have plenty of DPS loads and loads of damage on that son of a gun. rat a tat a tat a tat a tat a tat a tat Yes! Something like 300 damage on each one of those. We can get that completed. And then move up there. Kill that. Kill that. And then move down here to be ready to intercept whatever may come. All right, so let's see. We, oh, good lord almighty, that is a lot of air. Let's kill that and then come home. Is that the whaler's jamming effect? I think that is the whaler's jamming effect. So maybe it's not as bad as it seems. Although it could still be pretty dang bad. Yep, that's it. It's the Whalers. It is the Whalers. See, that's exactly the effect that you uh, are looking for when you use those in a game. It's the panic-inducing rage that comes when they're like, Oh no, we can't stop this. There's too many. Okay. It's you. Let's go down here. Thank you very much. 
Get all those set. Black first, then bricks, then mobiles, then trebuchets. See, if the groups never stop moving, the trebuchets don't do any good. And that's one of the things that I had a poor time understanding about the AI logic. Like, you should have it programmed to stop at range. Yes, we must. Hey, does that positive mass number mean my Maver's done? <gasps> that positive mass number means my Maver is done. Yes. Attack. Attack for all you're worth. All right, we need to salvage our eco here. Let's throw a scout in to our mix there. And we should be good. And you guys go attack there. You guys, let's go grab T2 mechs. And cap. And cap. And T2 mechs. Even though I'm doing that a little backwards, it'll be all right. All right, so Maver is firing away. Let's get a scout out. And actually figure out what we need to hit. I just need to pre-target. Haha! <laughs> Dude, he was right next to where the Maver was firing. Luck shot. What? This is just a <laughs> the loyalists are in route. Just a few more moments, and the Seraphim Commander will be ours. Oh yes. Fan freaking tastic. Detecting quantum signature. The Seraphim is coming through. You just walked into a trap, buddy. It's not going to work out. So, oh, that's an SACU. Does that matter? The Seraphim is ours. Apparently it doesn't. Excellent work. Good deal. Soon all of its secrets will be ours. <laughs> all right. Well, it took us a while to get here, but that is another mission completed and we got to build a freaking Mavor. Commander, I wanted to personally thank you for aiding my beloved loyalists. They are our first line of defense against the Order of the Illuminates treachery, and losing them would have been a devastating blow. The coming days will be dark, but don't lose heart. Our ultimate victory is closer than you think. Yes, yes it is. Alrighty folks, that is gonna wrap up the second mission definitely stay tuned as we continue through this campaign i forget how many missions there were at the start of it is it seven or eight something like that but i'm going to try to plug through them one a day from here until it completes as always guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one